Hey, how's it going? I'm here to tell you that I worked out as hard as I could imagine for many months and I got in excellent physical shape. I was lifting huge weights, these 100 pound th weights every single day. It was this, this tremendous amount of work and I got there to where I wanted to be just about and and I stopped this morning <laughs> because literally I woke up at 11 p.m. last night after going to sleep for three hours and started the day just worked out almost non-stop till 7 in the morning took a three-hour nap and I've been awake now it's nighttime I've been awake ever since and I at one point I just kind of I just kind of lost it and I was like I can't keep doing this I can't keep working this hard it is so much and I broke down, I, I, I had some beer, <laughs> I drank beer, and um, I just couldn't keep working out so crazy today, I kind of took a break from it. However, I made this masterpiece video, this amazing video that was about a diet drink, and I looked awesome in the whole video, and I had to delete all the original clips once I finished the final video to save space on my phone so I can make some more videos. And somehow, I've never done this with a video, I deleted the whole video of all those months of working out as best I can, dieting as much as I could. I made, it was a video on this diet drink and I deleted the whole thing. So anyway, I'm a filmmaker. I specialize in musical feature films. I've written, directed, starred in, and produced three musical feature films. I've done it for 20 years. You can look at my <clears throat> feature films and short films at the end of this video. Anyway, the point is that I'm good at storytelling and doing entertaining things. So it's like, why am I getting in super awesome shape to try to be some actor when I'm good at the actual screenplay writing and storytelling? So now I'm just going to entertain you with some fun funny screenwriting idea that I came up with that I recorded as I was coming up with the idea. So I think that's a lot better than trying to look all cool and have abs and look better than everybody or something. <clears throat> like, that's really shallow and pointless. So, uh, other than to, you know, help your health, which is debatable, and let's not even go into that. Who cares? Let's just enjoy it. Here's a fun, funny story. It's entertaining. Okay. Way better than the stupid selfie mirror abs. <laughs> okay. 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 Bye. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 I just screamed. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row. Merrily, 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 gently down the stream. Now, there are a lot of, and I just yelled really loud. I had a big break, I had a breakdown. Anyway, here's the, here's the uh, movie idea. There's a lot of people in rowboats. Men, big strong men, women. Maybe maybe some children sitting in the rowboats. They're all rowing rowboats down a big river. They're all singing in unison. You can hear the manly man boy. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. You can hear the women singing. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Then... It gets to this one part. They keep doing it over and over, and it, and it overlaps. It starts, as they say, row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. And it, and it does. It's like it overlaps over it. It starts just like that, those two times. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. And, and they, they overlap. The one continues. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream, merrily, 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 life is but a dream. The next one st starts right after this one. Row, row, row your boat, 
row, row, row your boat. And they're both going at the same time. <coughs> they're singing maybe different variations of that. It's a chorus. Maybe some background music to, to back it up or something. It's a musical. Um, maybe just chorus by itself. <sighs> then it comes to a point <laughs> you hear them you hear them going down the river you see first you see them coming down the river you see all their faces and everything it's good and and then you see them going away and they all almost all but go away and they get quieter and quieter and quieter as they as they go through after they had their whole big singing thing and saying and while they're rowing explaining why they're rowing and then as they're as they're fading away into the distance, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. It, all of a sudden, along singing along with them, <clears throat> there's a guy by himself. He's by, he's by himself, but he's like, he's a nice, he's a nice person, and um, he's like some big guy or something that's uh, maybe he's a little chubby, and he's by he he's singing he's walking along in the woods next to the river, and he's going. And then there's like a woman walking by herself nearby in the woods. He's just walking them alone through the woods. Maybe he's got on. I can't have him in underwear because it's gonna be for children or PG. And uh, he he's by himself. And going, I'm looking for a place to pee just for me. <laughs> I would like to pee, bubble, be bubble, bubble, bubble. And he's happy and he wants to pee, but he's a strange guy. <clears throat> and um, a little bit, it could be possibly, according to this woman's perspective. Then there's like a, you know, like a really innocent woman coming in in white clothes, maybe some blue or some different colors on her dress. Like, um, almost like a, like a, like an Alice in Wonderland or, or Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz, but something like that. Maybe a blonde, like an innocent girl. Um, and she's by herself in the woods. Maybe, a, maybe has dark hair. Like a, I'm thinking a white girl, and she's by herself, walking along, and he's singing "Bird Doo Doo Bird Doo Doo Doo," and then you can still maybe like get the idea of the song that's going on, and and she starts singing too. Something like that. <clears throat> she, I'm look <clears throat> I was looking for a place to pick my berries so innocently. I would like to see those berries just for him and me. The man that I want, or boy, or whoever she's talking about, a man or a boy, <clears throat> depending on her age. She may be an underage looking for a boy. The boy I want to be with me. We will be happy and free. La, la, something like that. Um, uh, or it doesn't have to necessarily be in, along the lines of the um, la la at the end. Tra la la. That's like a thing that my family used to do. They were Italian and they did like music and stuff, but they never made a 
really good living at it. They had they did it for a while and then they quit and got regular jobs and I don't want to do that. I've never wanted to do that. I've had a very different life that's compelled me to do differently. And I ha I am not against that. I want to raise a family and be close to my children and make sure they're okay. <coughs> but um so anyway, back to the story. She's she's singing so innocently or whatever and maybe maybe that was a frog on the side or like a little creature like <laughs> like a cute little rabbit she's she singing so innocently. She's singing so innocently like two creatures on the side saying good singing along with her. And then the other guy comes by. <laughs> They stop singing, and he just starts walking. She stops singing. She's picking berries. We hear the sound of the of the nature. Um, you know the all the all the um, animals and creatures of the woods. We just hear the ambient sound in nature. And she's there picking berries. He comes along. He sees her, and he says. Excuse me, miss. What are you uh doing here? I was looking for a place to pee. And he looks her right in the eye, and they're out in the woods alone. She looks around, she can't find and, and she says, Well, um, you're just gonna have to go away somewhere else. I don't, I don't need and he says, But miss, I was looking for a place to pee. I was looking for a place to pee. I need somewhere to pee. And she says, ah, get away from me. And and <clears throat> runs, <laughs> starts running as fast as she can through the woods. <laughs> and, and um, starts running as fast as she can through the woods, looking behind her, looking behind her, looking behind her, and in front of her. And all of a sudden she runs into something. She runs into something and stops. And it's her her boyfriend and all the berries fell on the ground and he says oh no the berries they pick it up you get the idea or, or it's not her boyfriend scratch that idea I'm writing this all as I go um there instead who could she run into maybe like another antagonist sort of antagonist type, sort of bad guy character antagonist type of character she runs into some other person this is like a new um, musical that's never been created before um, it could be rednecks or just something totally new and different um, with uh, some characters in it. Maybe I could have my, my ex-wife star in it. My, my mother and my children that I love more than anyone with my children. That, that I love them a lot. Maybe I could have them star in it. They're pretty big kind of... They're big on YouTube. They have a bunch of views. Um, they're not A-list or something, but... They could, uh... She could star as that. She'd have maybe get in shape. Or maybe it would be <clears throat> like just a new sort of, I don't know if she'd want to do it or not. She might want somebody else to do it and just direct it or something or not me direct it or whoever's going to direct it. I could direct and write it. I could write and direct it and just do the filmmaking, which would be something knew that I have never done in a feature film before. I've done it in short films. I've I've directed, written, produced, and starred in my own films, obviously. <clears throat> if you know my resume at all. From familiar with my work and stuff like that. But um maybe I could just write and direct it. Maybe I could just write and direct it. So yeah. That was the story. That was part of the story. I could write a whole screenplay based on that. I would think I'd be amazing at writing a screenplay these days. Oh, like really amazing at writing a screenplay. I may, I may write one. It's kind of sad. It's just 
and why would I sit there and work at it after how hard I've already worked all those 27 years, which I just screamed over. I couldn't believe it had gone on for so long, which to shorten believe it had gone on for so long would be belong. If you shorten that into one thing, belong. Believe it had gone on for so long. I didn't believe it. Moved out there in 1997. I was just a teenager. And. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. Everybody farts. I don't know what the point of it is. I don't have anything to hide. It's not R rated to fart. I just did a, a, a PG. I think a fart is rated PG if you hear somebody fart. No, no, it's not. It's, it's a, uh, it's just, that's rated G or PG. I don't know exactly, depending on who's rating it and the implications put forth based upon how they made a fart. Typically it would be G or PG rated, maybe PG 13 if they said certain words before or after it or maybe R or NC-17, depending upon the context of the fart. <laughs> this is the newscaster, John Birmingham, signing out. Hey, there's a, an eagle out there, American Eagle. No, no, there's not. Um, if there was, that'd be an amazing thing to capture on a video, but I'm not a documentarian as much. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Bye. Who cares about all that? Have a good old time. Pretend there's an eagle flying up. Huge eagle flying up in a... Oh, can't even do that thing. Picking up a rhino, uh, animal or something funny. We don't need all that. Bye. Bye. I'll have to think about that later. Exhausted. Exhausted. Okay. Bye. <laughs>